Hi, my name is Joe, and welcome to Drums! 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 This is a show about drums. The drummers who play them and break them. Need a drum? Need a drum shot now? Need a drum? Let's take a look. Need a drum shot now? See what's inside. Professional drum shot. <laughs> Well, here we go again. Pro drum shop. I didn't break anything this time. I just need new sticks. But this time, we have a special new guest. Sam in heaven. I'm making a movie about a, a guy that's trying to make a, a movie, and, and the guy always says, no, you can't make the movie. Stan, can we make a movie? Yes, you can make a movie, and I get 50%. No, man, you're supposed to say no. No, you can't make a movie, for okay. Christ's sake. Brought in the new generation of Immersive Drummers. Oh, my God. Sam, friend, Fucking ladies up and this gentlemen. Guy, young man, mine, hey, I'm Stan. Sam. Hey, Stan, Sam. it's the Stan and Sam show. That's right. Gentlemen, we're going to make a movie. Right. We're, Fuck Joe Immersive. That's we're right. Gonna do it. <laughs> fuck Joe Remerson. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Buddy Rich. Fuck, fuck Buddy, Buddy Rich. Fuck Buddy Rich. Fuck Joe Remerson. Fuck Joe Remerson. Fuck, it, Joe it fuck, fuck Frankie Cat. Fuck, fuck Frankie Cat. Yeah, it's twice as slow. Oh, I see. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I'm making a sequel right. and, and bringing him to the legendary Pro Drum the Shop. Fucked up, crusty old drum shop. <laughs> crusty old drum shop. Sweet. How you doing, Sam? Everything good? Everything's great. Other than the fact we're hanging out with that guy, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. That's good. I'm kicking his ass too. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, he's from my uh, LA area, or no? I'm from Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Yeah. All right, my boy. I'm boys. actually rarely down here, so okay. Make sure I come visit. And he's never been here. Yeah. The boys are up there for uh, older boy Josh was 30 years old. Yeah. 30. And his younger brothers bought him a big suite up at Caesars. Uh huh. Drinking and gambling for three days. Lost everything. Lost everything. <laughs> Lost all dad's money and. Yeah. And, and uh, who do, who owns the drum shop now? Huh? Uh, uh, Dolores still does. Trust me. Oh, not not Win, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, not Win. All right. Well, sometimes you can never win. You gonna put a, <laughs> a Tom Mount Tom Mount there? Stevie Nicks is drummer. Stevie Nicks is drummer. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Paxson. Uh huh. Nice old drum set, but I don't care. Oh, Wham! Oh. Woohoo! Yeah, baby! Oh boy. Oops! Oops! I think it's in the right spot. Uh huh. We're gonna find out later on. Okay. Uh, that's alright. The way I look at it, it's not mine. Hey! Yeah, how's that? You gotta practice somehow. You're, you're practicing medicine, right? Yeah, that's right. If I make a mistake, uh, you know, I'm still practicing. Practicing. Why would you want to make a Tom Mount into a free drum? Yeah, we were just talking about that this morning. Well, it's the same reason why some people would shove a pillow in there. I mean, it doesn't matter. They need a place to sleep, right? They, they, uh, you, want to, you need to be comfortable playing. And we all kind of dead in the bass drum anyhow. Yeah. You know, it's it's not like you you want a perfect resonating bass drum. It's an old people did it for decades. Yeah. You know, and to get the pure full sound out of the drum, it's not always the case. Depends it, on the room and everything. How you play it, right? If you need fucking groove, and it don't matter whether you got a holder in it or not. Yeah, that's right. So this this guy does a lot of studio stuff, and this will be in his studio. So he wants to put on different tom toms. He doesn't want to have a stand holding his tom tom and then he goes to move the cymbal he's got to move the tom and the cymbal and all that stuff so he wants boom instant gratification i want to put a gretsch tom on i want to put a dw tom on but let's use this bass drum and there you go there it is this is a player's drum it's a gresh it's a gresh
Stan straddles the victim. So it won't break out on the inside. He's, he's got the bass drum in a Trayvon Martin, uh, George Zimmerman position. I did, huh? That's a veteran move on the other side thing. I would just have gone right through. Oh yeah, so that's what I'll break out. Yeah. There you go. There it is. That's a player's drum. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm old fashioned, Sam. You know, it's like, we're kind of getting that bass drum up anyhow. We're not making it a pure ringing thing. Yeah. So. Because it gets in the way of the bass, basically. The bass is ringing. Who the hell wants to hear a ringing bass drum? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Boom! You want to hear that bottom end? You want to grab it right there. And there you have it. And there it is. Just like that. Sweet! And back here, this is where all the books are. The brains of the corporation? That's right. That's where I used to work. Well, still the same. Hey, how are you? Uh, all the gold lies back here. All the... Oh, yeah. Here we go. You never know what kind of treasures you find back here. But they got every book in the world over there. There's the tricks on drums. Look at this. Look at this drum. Wow. How cool is that? Who? Vinny Paul. Who's that? He is the drummer for Pantera, but uh, now they're different bands. Uh, they're not together anymore. I guess he's not using it anymore. Yeah, I don't think 47 years. 47 wasted years. 47 wasted. Speaking of 47 wasted years, here's Jerry. Yeah, I've been working as a dub for since 1967. And how's that been working out for you? Wasting my life away. In other words, you should have got out when Joe got out. Should have went to That's school. Right. Joe got smart. You yeah, should have worked for Pearl Drums. Oh yeah. Yeah. Screw up your back. Screw up your back. There you go. <laughs> Not, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're ready for your close-up, Danny. It's about to be on the Twitter books, right? We're, we're, we're doing the sequel to Drums. 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 There you go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Someone's practicing. How you doing? Pretty good, how are you? Cool. Just uh, you know. New in town, taking some uh, pictures. Just a tourist in this land. Oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. That's great. If you're so low, it screams. I've heard much about this place. I live 30 miles away. Do you guys have guitars? I can get one for four miles an hour. Yeah? It's like, what? So I'm like, so I'm trying to keep it. Everybody's up my ass, and I'm like, how many strings? Thing up, Just one up. would be fine. I'm just I'm gonna add to it as I go along. You, you want me to record you with the, your phone? Yeah. Well, let, let me let me see what you're doing first, and then I'll record you. I was looking through. Close the door. No, no, just keep playing. Screw them. I've heard enough. <laughs> Yay! Okay, why don't you explain what's going on? Okay. So I'm picking out some sticks. Uh -huh. Back to check to see if it's smiling or banana. So you roll it. Seems pretty smooth. Yeah. Sometimes it'll be. Right. 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 That's the first look at that step of picking a stick. Right. Right. Then we gotta check to see how dense it is and. We're arguing if it's got a lower sound, is it more dense, maybe a little heavier? Yeah. And I feel like this stick is heavier than this one. You're right. But I, I think I think if you tap it on there, the, the higher the pitch of the stick, the, the more solid it is. I don't know. Hit, hit those again. 
Okay, the other one? That one's deeper. That one's lower. Deeper in pitch. But this one feels heavy. Why don't you feel it? All right. Here, you take the camera. Okay. Saturday. I go, I go, it's better off now than it was. This one feels heavier. Yeah. All right, hold on. You know, I didn't think it was a raise. I thought it was a raise. That was a decrease. What? You know? Way different. You're right. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, I always go for the higher, higher pitch. Higher pitch. Starting, it's a lighter know, stick. Nine months. Mine's like eighteen hundred dollars. Hmm. Puzzled. A puzzled Uncle Joe. Okay, well let's let's <laughs> let's get the professionals. You know we did last time we played. Sam, I'm sitting here talking with uh, Sam, and Sam, we're, yeah. we're we're trying out the sticks. We rolled them okay. to check for bananas. Right. Now we're checking for pitch, and I think. My opinion is the higher the pitch, the more dense it is. That's absolutely correct. See, young heavy. stuff, you just don't I mean, listen to us. It's heavier and it's got a lower thud. So is it? I'd be yeah. worried yeah. about more about that. Yeah. Bring it over here. going after the bananas than I would the bananas, yeah. okay? Which one's heavier? This one is lighter. This one is heavier. The yeah, lighter, the lower it's pitch. lower pitch. There you go. What? What? Are you? But we're talking about maybe density. What's causing it to be more heavy, even though it's the same. That's state. a long ass stick too. Yeah, it is definitely. Closer to the center of the tree this, is the more density of the wood. Is it? Yes. I like I that. No. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa, hey. <laughs> Jerry's the fashion coordinator here at uh, Pro Drum Shop. He's trying to get everybody to wear the same thing. And walk the same way. I like that. <laughs> Pro drum, let me help you. Uh -huh. At forty-five thousand dollars a year. Hey, look, at, look, at, look, at, look at that. How no much? How was your golf game today? <laughs> Just playing through, bro. Just playing through. You gotta know how to swing. You couldn't swing if you had a fucking rope. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't swing from a tree. <laughs> no, how's it go? <laughs> I can't. I don't know. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You know, you want to go outside, buddy. You want some fucking free food. You ain't here. Go on. Get out of here. How many times do I got to tell you? Get out of here. How many <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got into a little scuffle with the bum here yesterday at the front drum shop. Uh oh. I'm not, you mean, I asked him to leave. Yeah. And he was not a happy camper. What did he do? He came back today and wanted to rumble. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he was, he was taunting me, and I was on the phone. Oh my god, here we go. He was here in the shop? Yeah. He just walked through the door. Yeah. You know, the, our yeah. usual crazy guy comes once a week. We leave him alone. And he usually doesn't, he doesn't bother us. And he just kind of be very quiet. Now he's getting loud and yelling and rah, rah, rah. So I got, I was a little hung over and I went rah, 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 right back at him. Well. And then, yeah, and then the shit went down. And now he yeah. comes back every day. And it's going it's to be a thrill in Manila. With the banana sticks. Well, hopefully he shows up today so we can get him on camera. Yeah, he was already here. He was already here. Oh, he was already. It comes at a certain time, or what? Yeah, I didn't even ask for you. Your timing's impeccable, Joe. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're saying that all the metal bands swear by this? Yeah. All the double basers yeah. love this pedal. All the double basers <laughs> like the single pedal. Well, with two bass drums, oh, yeah, it works that way. Oh, with two bass drums. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can get the double pedal version, but right. they swear by this one. Yeah, so but you got to carry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out because I've never. Played. Well, try it. Yeah, Take it in the room and try it, man. I'm gonna try it. What are the, what are these about? Yeah, sucker. Sucker. You give them to people as they leave. Oh, that's sucker. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. Before you know it, the Tootsie Company will be making drums. That's right. For pop music. Hey, Danny. Hey, Joe. What's up with this Gretsch set over here? Uh, we just slide the bass room in and out, so it changes the attack a little bit. It changes the attack. Interesting. Sweet home, mama, jamma. Sweet home, baby. Sweet home. Speaking of sweet home, 
Uh, Tom, we're back again. Hello, Joe. Hello. I'm looking at your new setup here. It's pretty lovely, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah, Tom was just telling me this this is a stuff that's being sold on Amazon. Yeah. People that want, don't want to drive, they meet their needs with their little pedal parts. That's right. Serving the world online. Ooh, that's new. What's that? Oh, yeah. I had to cover up the hole in the wall. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotta do it with something. Cool. What, what, what's that hanging up there? Uh, it looks like a, a twin horn with a bunch of holes in the end of it. A twin horn? Yeah, they call it a twin horn. Mm -hmm. and that's why they call it Twin Horn Shop. And this, hey. is, this is Sam, my, ne my nephew. Hi, how's it going? going? Tom, that's me. Yeah. The one I told you about. The young stuff. When I was a young lad, Joe Mercer was about that tall. <laughs> <laughs> Working at the Pro Drum Shop. Anyway, just... Uh, Letting him see the place. Visiting church. <laughs> Sorry to hear you're related to Joe. Oh boy. Everybody keeps saying that. Yeah. I don't know what you're up to. <laughs> well. <laughs> it's okay. No respect, I, I tell you. I forgive you, it's alright. Uh, Joe is the Rodney Dangerfield of the pro drum shop. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick it to you. <laughs> I always gave you the utmost respect, Joe. Oh, thank you, sir. So you know. Finally. Finally got it. Uh, as much respect as drummers get, I tell you. Yeah. We get the chicks though. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. What are we talking about? I, I feel some drama in the air. Oh, we got some great drama in here. See, wow. everybody's worried about this being a drop G badge being in such great condition because it's late seventies. Uh huh. It only made it for like about a year. What? Yeah, I was all panicked. He thought he, somebody had put the new drop G badge on it. He said no. Oh, these have USA on it. Oh, I see. That's what makes it the, the shit. The the, uh, the new ones that you see don't have that. Funky. Okay. But it's all panic over it. So, no, nah, this thing's right on. Oh, yeah? Late 70s. Kick ass. I'll take it. Let's go. You got it. Let's see the new... Get your credit card out. <laughs> That's the new one. Hold on. And it doesn't say U USA on it. Uh, because... This, I don't know. Probably not because they, they're probably putting these on drums that probably are not from the USA. Ooh. Oh, that's the difference. That's the, the old drum you saw there. Yeah. It says USA right there, meaning the old badge has not been messed with. Okay. So, look at that paper badge. This drum's all jacked up. Those badges don't come out. The drum, they have a serial number on them. Okay. The guy who stole them ripped off because they have serial numbers. Oh, stole them. Stole them. Stolen drum set. Stolen drum set. This is a stolen CSI. drum set. No, this is a real drum set. Oh, okay. That's, that's a real drum set. That's the real jazz. Actually, that's the, the real drum set. Grab USA. But you see, he was questioning it because in the inside of Gretsch drums, you have a paper oh, tag. Oh. And the paper tag is missing on those drums. The badge just looks like a but they're all, no, no, Grace doesn't have serial numbers. That's just the model number, bro. Well, the guy who stole it, you know, see that model stamp number? But I like, uh, it makes a better story that they're stolen, though. <laughs> see, that, that's a serial number. No, it's not. 10 to 60, 16. Oh, on the bottom? Yeah. Oh, the I see what you're saying. See that? That's, oh, that, oh, I got you. That's why, because it's 1979. There you go. Stolen. They ripped it out. Stolen drums. Well, I think we should call the police. I think let's call the police. We we'll probably just wait five hours for the show up. Yeah, we're home. It'd be good camera work. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Okay. Hey, didn't I tell you to get out of here? CSI drum shot. Didn't I tell you, who are you? Get out of here. <laughs> does, he, does he do that? <laughs> yes, he does. Is that his imp your impersonation of him? Yeah, yeah. then he gets the door of his motherfucker! Yeah, he does. Fuck you, fucking drum shot! He's like, he's like a terror. Starts cussing when he walks right at the door. Bam, starts cussing. Fuck you! Blah, 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 blah. Then walks away. So now, I gotta make it here when he's here oh. next. Is he gonna be here tomorrow? Yes, he is because he wants to piss off Jerry because Jerry got his face. And the more they do that, the more they want to do it. That's right. It's funny. Just don't feed him. He'll he'll always. <laughs> hey, get out of here! Did I take you out of here? Who's gonna take our money here? Did you buy that one? Right, oh, okay. Shumbum, quack hack. Let me see those. Bless you.
Nice. DW. DW. Different from GW. Jerry, you going to uh, take my money, sir? Let's go. This is what we're ending the episode on. Leaving the joint. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Get out of here now. Hold oh, doors in the ass. I hit you in the ass. Stan, this is the big exit moment. Joe, take care of yourself. Do I have your permission to do another sequel? No! Okay. We got, we got his blessings. Good. Well, I'll have this on the fryer and I'll cook it up for you within a week. Let's go. Excellent. The sequel. Joe, I love you. All right, man. Love you too, man. See ya. All right, young stuff. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, Joe. See ya, man. Always fun. Hey, uh, it's been nice to meet you, man. Great. All right, let's get out of here before I spend any more money. All right. Bye. See you. Hey, here's the best part right here. This is the best part. This is Uncle Joe when he had hair. See, right there. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's me under glass. That's pro drum shop. <laughs> Isn't that fucking great? Yeah, it is. I love that place. <clears throat> Bless you. What, are you allergic to drums? What? No, I'm allergic to uh, your bullshit. <laughs> okay, thank you. Whoa, good one, young stuff. Hey, uh, how you getting home anyway? You need a ride? The Baptism of Sam Friend, a pro drum shop. You've seen it here, folks. The circle of life is a drum, and the new generation comes in to kick my ass. We take Vine Street back to the 101, which takes us back to the valley. Until we return for more.